Right, Tron Nation, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Foxen or George. We are currently back on the home setup. It is, as you can see, sunny, which is a real nice change, and everything is dry on the setup. Whereas last ride, it was a bit damp. Believe it or not, we are still out on the canyon doing some more testing on the home setup. And I've also acquired some more pallets, which I didn't have last time. So we're going to be editing the setup today and then giving it a session, seeing what we can do. So yeah, let's get into rearranging the setup and then we'll go for a ride. Right, so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, take that angled one off and I'm gonna extend that. So I'm gonna put four more pallets next to it. So that's a bigger platform, which will then rigid that up. I'm gonna put that on the end of it, slanted, and then I'll move that further down, which then leaves a run up to get up that which we can do some big up to backs, etc. on. I might even move that stack across just because I'll probably not really do that gap down again because it's a bit ridiculous. Ideally want to have the setup so it's fun to ride, but you can also do like your maxes on it. So you can do your max gap. I know I can move everything around, but ideally I screw everything together so it doesn't move. Um, but yeah, so you can do your max gaps, max up to rears and stuff like that. But I'm going to move it to how I just said now. We'll see what it looks like. And we'll go from there. So that is the home setup done. We've made some changes. A few small ones here, small ones there, little step up thing. And then we've got the big one at the end and then a the gap here. So I'm currently very quickly running out of light. So we're now gonna have a session on this, see how it is. Let's go. Jumper's coming off already. It is hot. Shall I move that? Yeah. Don't know how that's better, but. Oh. It's so much nicer now that it's actually dry. It feels so much more rideable. Right, we're gonna try on the bit, on the new step up. We're gonna go. Gap down and then front wheel, pop up to nose switch. Oh. 
Oh. Not quite. Oh, go there. It's a shame the setup right next to the road. I hope you caught him. There we go. I don't know why that took so long. Maybe, maybe I'm just shit. Second angle. So I don't know how possible it's going to be. I'm going to try go from the corner of this gap to front from the corner of that to switch and then gap to the blue palettes. Again, I just don't know how this is going to go. Oh my god! I think it'll go. Oh my god! Oh, so that slides on there. That's what I need. No! Right, let's go. Woo! I swear, yesterday, yesterday was a stupid gap to front. And now, funnily enough, it was another gap to front. And I'm literally losing all the light now, which is fantastic. So I'm probably gonna get a couple more lines and then call it, because it is getting dark. Um, probably it's very light on camera, but it's getting dark. But what do you guys think of the new setup? I think it looks pretty good. And we've still got a couple more pallets to use. And I think this weekend, I'll be seshing it with Mr. Jordan Lee, and Mr. Jack Lemon, but we will see. We might even have to do some fun mini games. How simple. Or oh, say so simple, probably take 500 tries. Up the front on the bottom step, swap to nose, and then back down. The only problem is, literally no run. The answer is that's very hard from that close. It's only just above bar. That's so hard with the amount of run. Well, that's the two. I need it front, front. Oh. Just to show you how short the run-up is. I'm gonna call it there, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.